CMS 2.9 has delivered a new menu in the web admin GUI that allows users to perform all API actions without the use of a third-party tool. This new feature makes it much easier to make modifications and configuration changes to the CMS API. The API menu can be found under the configuration menu. Here you can see a complete list of configurable objects available in CMS. Let's look up web bridges as an example. As I type it in, the results will filter automatically. If there's a black arrow next to an object, you can click it to expand it. As you can see here, I have six web bridges configured in my environment. Let's try another object. Let's look for call leg profiles. Here you can see I have 12 already. Let's create a new one together. When you hit create, you'll see all available configuration options. Let's name this and enable a few different options. By clicking Create, it's performing a post to the CMS API. Now you can see I have a new call leg profile and all the options I have configured with it. There are links to related objects listed on the page, which I'm going to use now to go back to all of my call leg profiles. And now you can see I have 13 call leg profiles, and I can easily identify the new one by the name. Let's quickly look at the delete function. In the root API menu in the top right, there's a setting that you'll need to click to enable the ability to delete objects. This is so you don't accidentally delete any objects. When I click Allow Delete, notice in the table below now I have a delete option. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the test one that I just created. Now, even though I specifically enabled Allow Delete, there's another check that asks me if I'm sure I want to delete this object. Hopefully all these checks make it very difficult to accidentally delete an object by mistake. So now let's modify an existing CoSpace with the API tool to set a call leg profile at a CoSpace level. I'll search the configured co-spaces and find the object that I'm going to modify. Here you can see all the options that are configured on this co-space. Now I'll go down the available options and click choose to see a list of the available call leg profiles. I'll pick the one I want and then click modify. And that's it. I hope this brief introduction to the new API menu helps you see how simple and easy it is to use over a third party tool. I hope this video helps and thank you for watching.